we've officially crossed into the kind of sci-fi territory that, until recently, belonged only in movies. You can now buy an AI-powered humanoid girlfriend. Yes, really. And before you ask, no, there's no official robot boyfriend version yet. But let's be honest, it's only a matter of time before someone swaps in a deep voice and a fresh hairstyle to make that happen. We're entering an era where robots aren't just vacuuming floors or fetching items. They're aiming to become your confidant, your event host, your brand ambassador, even a potential romantic partner. Meet Arya, a highly realistic, AI-driven humanoid robot created by Realbotics. She made her debut at CES 2025 in Las Vegas, and the reaction? A wild mix of fascination, confusion, and more than a little unease. Arya is far from a generic mannequin with a speaker shoved inside. Real Botics engineered her with an astonishing 17 precision motors in the head and neck alone, making her facial movements, like blinking, mouth motion, and head tilts, more lifelike than most robots on the market. Instead of attempting awkward, jerky walking, still a major robotics challenge, she moves smoothly on a concealed rolling base. Think luxury podium on wheels. When I first saw Arya, she was dressed in a sleek tracksuit, delivering bold facial expressions and subtle hand gestures. Sometimes charming, sometimes eerily uncanny valley, like a friendly host who's still learning her cues. Now here's where things get interesting and controversial. Real Botix's roots trace back to the adult entertainment industry via Abyss Creations, the makers of Real Dolls. In 2022, the company was acquired in a $16.7 million stock deal by Tokens.com, led by Andrew Kagel, who's also the CEO of Real Botix. Arya, they insist, is not a sexual product. No hidden compartments, no anatomically accurate features. The company's official positioning? She's a social companion, designed to combat loneliness, greet visitors, or act as a marketing presence. That said, Arya does offer adult conversation modes, more flirtatious than functional, a digital intimacy without the physical side. Here's the part that raises eyebrows. Reports from CES mentioned a top-tier Arya at $200,000, though official numbers have since settled around $175,000 for the flagship full-body version. There's also a modular body for $150,000 and a head and neck bust version for about $10,000. So yes, that's the price of a luxury sports car, all for a robot that can tilt her head, call you by name, and wave at guests. Real Botix is going big on personalization. Arya's faces are magnetically attached and embedded with RFID tags so she can instantly recognize and adapt to each persona. Swap a faceplate in seconds, and you've got a brand new character, part Westworld, part futuristic cosplay. For now, Arya's the star female model, but male variants are already on the roadmap. The official narrative is noble. Fight loneliness particularly among older adults and socially isolated individuals. Arya can remember your favorite meal, crack jokes, and even wish you happy birthday. Critics, however, worry that lifelike companionship might increase social withdrawal rather than reduce it. And yes, corporations have a track record of monetizing human vulnerability. Real Botix envisions Arya as more than just a home presence. She could serve as a theme park greeter, event ambassador, or hospital concierge. But some feel her glamorous design might be off-putting in professional or medical settings. For CES, the company deliberately showcased the most visually striking model. Unsurprisingly, it made headlines. Arya isn't alone. Tesla's Optimus and Figure AI's humanoids are pushing toward robots that can walk and perform practical tasks. Arya, however, is laser-focused on emotional intelligence facial expressions, conversation, and connection. So, is Arya a groundbreaking innovation that could genuinely help people, or just a luxury novelty feeding into our growing digital isolation? What do you think? Drop your thoughts below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.